hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel welcome to a spinning class <laughs> okay I've been carding this for days now and it's over one kilogram there's over one kilogram here and I made two more batches I was up till 5 a.m. so I've been carding them and each time I card I was carding between two to five times depending on what I have so these are super fluffy so I have set set up my Ashford uh, spinning wheel here it is and uh, these were packed because I haven't been using them for years now okay so I'm going to show you how to spin yarn and this is angora rabbit yarn most of them are satin uh, because satin I believe is the best quality for uh, the fluffiest to create your knitted item so I'm going to be knitting a card again and it's going to fly to UK hello UK <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start. I put my bobbin. I do not know the terms, so please don't ask me the terms. I have no clue. Uh, I bought this, and I, ha I had a really hard time setting this up when I bought it because there was no YouTube. Uh, when I bought it, there was no new YouTube tutorials on how to set up, and uh, I tried to, well, I followed the manual. But uh, I paid a fortune for this, just to let you know. It came from New Zealand years over a decade ago maybe two decades who knows i can't remember okay so i'm going to start forgot to i have to thread this through here i believe and uh yeah i think i did something wrong but i'll be right back and we're going to spot start spinning the first i'm going to show you how to spin one ply and then i am going to start um doing two ply so stay tuned and I'll be right back okay so this is what I did and I had this is just a waste yarn so I'm going to be spinning starting spinning on this and uh, I have the two I think two treadmill I, I don't know what these are called so what we do is this is how we do it been a while I haven't been spinning so it's gonna take me time so uh it's good exercise carding was good exercise <laughs> so this is how I'm going to be spinning okay my thing went out let me just put this back just like this and uh okay here we go my, um, I'm sitting on a couch, so it is pretty low compared to the one upstairs. So I will be moving this back upstairs. So what I'm doing is I'm spinning and I'm twisting this. That's what I need. And I'm going to grab the car, the fiber that I have carded. Okay. Here's some. They're super fluffy, as you can see. Okay, so let's get started. Hope you can see it. Let me just turn this. It's, it's really hard to tape this. Okay, I'm going to be moving this bag because it's pretty bright. Okay, can you see? So I have already twisted enough. Oh, I'm just gonna move this a little bit. Okay. Just slowly, 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 just like this. And then I'm going to let it go. If I let it go, I'm going to twist it. But I don't want to twist it too much because I want that fluffy, right? Okay, and, uh, and I'm going to be making bulky, bulky yarn. Okay. Can you see? So I don't want to twist it too much. Oops. So this is going to be like art yarn. 
It's custom design, custom made, and that's what it's going to be. Okay, there's enough twist in here. Can you see? I don't want too much twist because I'm going to do two ball, two, uh, uh, two ply. That's the word. Okay. And then I am twisting as I'm going. So this is very time consuming, but it's super fun. <laughs> I learned how to spin with on with a spindle and I bought so many I might uh, sell them because they've been sitting there over a decade so I have no use for it so I will put up put them on my Etsy shop for the ones who would be interested and uh, that's how you learn it you learn it on a spindle like on a stick and then you, you upgrade it so after that I bought this and after that I bought electric electric one which i lost electric cord <laughs> while we were moving okay so i am this is how you spin see well um it depends on what you're going to be working on right so i'm going to be making a coat up down to knee and uh, i'm trying to give that fluffiness for that reason i am creating this yarn but i am spinning this yarn but if you are making a shawl you can um, spin thinner okay so i am just like this it will break that's okay don't have to worry about that so I will grab more fiber just like this and then I will continue spinning As you can see, I'm playing around with it. If you want, you, you can add different uh, yarn into this while you're spinning and then go from there. I don't want this twist so what I'm doing is trying to uh, get rid of that twist to do that what you do is pull it like this and the twist will be gone and I'll be adding more fiber as I go okay I'm pulling more fiber as I go I'm doing it slowly, unfortunately. For some reason, this isn't turning. Hmm. Okay. 
twisted there. I'm pulling as I'm going. It, this is going to take a while, but uh, <laughs> just looking at it. I think I got the hang of it, but my thing broke. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. This will happen. Because the fiber is loose, that's the reason. Okay. Just gonna pull this back, just like this. And then, thread it. Here's the tool you need. This is what came out of the package. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, this came out of this uh, when I. Oh, don't break over. Can you see how they're flying? Okay, I need to uh, pull this because there's too much. See? And I'm looking. 
Okay, so I will come back uh, to do two ply as soon as I have enough uh, yarn here. So I need to make like two times of this so I can make the two ply. And I will come back to show you how to make the two ply. I do have a, a tutorial I made it years ago using a la uh, ladder yarn because I was making a custom design cardigan for a customer and I do have uh, I, uh, all the I made a playlist so uh, you can go and check that out but meanwhile I will come back when I have uh, enough uh, yarn that I have made and I will show you how to make the two ply but uh, other than that it's just time consuming and then we keep on drafting and then spinning just like this again this is going to be a bulky super bulky yarn to give that nice fluffy look when it's knit up but uh, other than that um, if you want the super fluffy uh, chunky fuzzy look you need to keep on washing wash wash dry wash wash dry and brush I believe but uh, that's how you create that look but uh, other than that this is how you spin <laughs> I hope you can see it it's uh, really hard to just like this Try not to make a uh, thick and thin. But uh, after I make this yarn, like all these that you can see, I'm going to be washing them and then start knitting them. Wash the yarn. then go from there see how strong it is so it is strong so when I do two ply you can even do three ply if you want depending on how thin and thick you want and uh, yeah so uh, I pull the fiber from the bag and I make the yarn spin the yarn just like this it's super fluffy the twist when you're spinning that holds the and I will be uh, knitting and when I knit I will uh, add uh, 100 maybe 70 percent I will see oops this this is very thin I don't want that see this part is so thin I don't want that so what I'll do is huh, here we go I did knit uh, thick and thin and uh, I had to add a different yarn oops grab the fiber come on I did knit several cardigans, hand spun. They are more expensive because, uh, as you can see, the process several days to card the yarn, and then after that, you, uh, you spinning is time consuming. That's why, and of course, the fiber itself, the Angora Rabbit fiber itself, is expensive. So uh, price-wise, it's it is expensive. So you can see I create the thick and thin, <laughs> but that's okay because uh, later on these are going to be. Let me fix this. I don't want that thick and thin look. That's how you make the thick. It's really 
uh, what you call it it's so easy to make thick and thin yarn give that this look so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that thin part those uh, open it a little bit see I opened it and here's a trick again this is a uh, super bulky uh, you can do uh, thinner you can do lace you can do uh, fingering but for my project I needed the Most of the yarn are here, so I'm going to try to pull it over there. See, when you knit these up, these comes out. That's what we're aiming for, the fiber. I'm not a professional spinner, like, I don't do this for a living, just to point out, so uh, it's, it's my hobby, and uh, there are professional spinners out there, but I am not a professional spinner, like, I don't make a living out of this, that's what I'm trying to say. When I receive, see, it easily breaks down. So just be cautious. Uh, it's Angora Rabbit that does this. Merino wool won't do as, uh, it's it's not this, it's this, it's like satin, right? It's, it's, this is Angora Rabbit is satin and it's very sh uh, slippery. That's what I'm trying to say. So, uh, yeah. It's not easy to spin on Gore Rabbit. Alpaca is gorgeous to work with. Alpaca merino wool. Other fibers are not this slippery at all. Okay. I can go on and on and on. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. Here is what it looks like. See how fluffy it is? So I'm going to do two ply and I will come back and show you. And then we'll go from there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Hit that notification button so you will be notified any time, every time I post a video. So stay tuned for the two ply. I will come back and show you how to do the two ply. And uh, we'll go from there. Happy spinning, happy knitting, happy crocheting. Take care, everybody.